If I were to tell you back in August that the Philadelphia Eagles were going to make the playoffs, you would call me a crazy person. If I were to tell myself that, I would trick myself into a psych ward to be, re to be evaluated for uh, head trauma or uh, some sort of psychosis. But here we are. Here we are. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to make the playoffs. And I am just flat out elated at this event. Like... I went into this year thinking 7-10 and 10 at most, and that was me being optimistic. That was me as an, as an optimistic fan. I thought that this team was a rebuilding season, a rookie head coach, all intents and purposes, a rookie quarterback. There was growing spurts, and uh, this team did not look good at the start of the year, but that's natural. That's natural. They're a young team, rookie head coach. They were learning on the spot. They were trying to force uh, an offensive, an offensive identity that didn't really fit with the personnel that they had. Give Sirianni credit, he found the right identity, and that's run first, and this team runs us all over you, and this team did not look good at the start of the year, but as a wise man from my childhood once said, Dude, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. Yeah, and that's true, and we did suck this year, we, but we learned a lot, at the start, we did suck at the start of this season, but we learned a lot over the course of this year. Jalen Hurts developed as a passer. I'm not saying he's amazing, I'm not saying he's a phenomenal quarterback, one of the best in the league right now. But he showed me a lot, and he showed me a lot to the point where he definitely deserves to be the week one quarterback in 2022, without a doubt. He proved me proved to me so much this year. Seems like a great leader, seems like a great person. The team respects him. They respect him the way that they did not respect Carson Wentz at all. So I also want to say it's hilarious that the Eagles, who were projected to be this rebuilding team that was supposed to struggle all of this season, maybe get only seven wins. They made the playoffs before Carson Wentz did. <laughs> they clinched a playoff berth before Carson Wentz and the Colts, who a lot of people saw as a dark horse Super Bowl candidate, did. And they made the playoffs before the, they did. And, I mean, the Colts are probably going to make the playoffs until unless they choke. But still, I think that's really really awesome. Overall, I'm just on cloud nine right now, and the playoffs are going to be going into house money because they weren't supposed to make it. They're about three years ahead of schedule that most rebuilding teams usually go through. I mean, look at the Giants. The Giants are rebuilding since 2018, basically, and they still suck, and they're going to suck next year and the year after that. So all the Giants fans that said after last year, oh, we're going to get a revenge on the Eagles because the Eagles are going to suck so bad in 2021 and we're going to be so improved. Yeah, uh, how that how's that looking for you, Giants fans? You fans of the poverty franchise that you guys root for? So, what a year about for the Birds. What a year. I mean, wow. Wow, I, I would not have expected that this team would make the playoffs, win, finish with a winning record, really says a lot about the growth of the young quarterback, the growth of the rookie head coach, who is probably going to get some uh, head coach of the year uh, votes. I don't think he's going to win it, but he definitely should get some votes in that regard because this is a great coaching job that he did. Once he learned to uh, accept the run and not force the pass-first identity on the team, and I give him credit for that. A lot of coaches, are, especially young coaches, are stubborn. And Sirianni learned from his early mistakes and has rounded into form nicely. So, wow. Wow. Thank you, ba Packers, for uh, beating the Vikings. Uh, my uncle gave me this uh, Reggie White Packers jersey, and I whip it out whenever the, we need the Packers to win a big game. So, uh, thank you, Fat Packers, for uh, beating the Vikings. And thank you, Eagles, for a great season. I was not expecting this. I was expecting this to be uh, not quite a, as bad of a season as last year, but still not good. I, mean, I, I went in this year thinking, oh, it's the growing pains. It's the rebuilding process. But we're not an amazing team, but I'm just glad the fact that we're actually a pretty good team, a pretty decent team, decent enough to make the playoffs. So... Go Birds, baby. Go Birds.